What up, everyone? Pizella57 here, playing MLB The Show 17. In this video, I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to um, play Conquest mode, which is Diamond Dynasty, which is a game mode in Diamond Dynasty. And it's kind of like Risk, where you start off with a stronghold, and you and all 30 other teams uh, try to expand and take over as much of the map as possible and take each other's strongholds. Now, um, conquest mode, there is a trophy related to this to hold, conquer and hold five different enemy strongholds at the same time. Um, another reason to do conquest mode is because there are some really good rewards you can get from it if you look in the missions. Um, you can get quite a bit of stubs, you can get some good players, there's some hidden packs and so forth. So in this video I'm just going to show you guys how the best way to expand and take over the entire map. So the place that I started in this video, the stronghold is where your stronghold will be. Uh, every time you play this, you can start over as many times as you want. So, in Conquest mode, there are four phases. There's the attack phase, where you can expand to an empty territory or attack an enemy territory or stronghold. There's Steel Fans phase, which you can play a game. All Every game is three innings long. And depending on what difficulty you play on, you can steal up to 5 million fans from an enemy stronghold. Then there's Reinforce, where you can you get so many fans each turn based on the number of hexagonal territories you own. You can reinforce your territories with fans. And then there's the Move Fans phase, where you can move fans from one territory of your territories to another one. So as you saw what I did at the beginning, the best way to do this to start out is to expand north where all that empty territory is during the attack phase and you're gonna wanna skip the steel fans phase um, during this to make this go by quicker. Um, it's not really gonna help you all that much right now. Um, it could at the end when you're ready to conquer the strongholds. But, I mean, if you want to play the three inning games to get some innings played, to get some cards at the end, you can get some experience and subs. But you're generally going to want to skip the steel fans phase and go to the reinforce phase. And you're going to want to reinforce one of your territories, your attacking territory, with pretty much all of the fans that you get. And for every three hexagonal territories that you own, you'll get one additional million fans you can reinforce each turn. So the more you, the more territories you own, the more fans you'll be able to reinforce with um, each turn. So you're going to keep doing that. As you can see, I expanded north, and then I'm going west to begin with up toward Seattle. Um, it doesn't exactly matter where you go. You can, after you get some of the territories up north, you can go south a little bit and go down toward Colorado and Kansas City and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, you just want to keep doing that. Uh, attack open territories or enemy territories skip the steel fans phase and then reinforce your fans and when you're attacking enemy territories only you can simulate the games you can play the games to make this go by quicker obviously you just want to re uh, simulate the games and you generally only want to simulate the games if there's a high probability um, you can if you want if there's a medium probability especially sometimes um, you might have six fans going up against, or six million fans going up against two million fans. Um, but they count that as a medium 
probability to win. I generally still simulate those and win most of the time. But in general, you want to do mostly just simulate the high probability games. And then once you've attacked all the territories you can, you just want to press start to skip the attack phase. And then skip the steel fans phase and once again go back to the reinforce phase. And then just keep doing that over and over. And it goes by fairly quickly. Um, I think by the end of this video, once I have taken over all of the territories um, before taking the strongholds, I think it was about turn 50 or 52. So it took about maybe 90 minutes to two hours to take over the entire map without taking over strongholds. That's just the way I did it. Um, if you just want to get the trophy for conquering and holding five enemy strongholds as quickly as possible, then as you're going, you can go ahead and conquer the strongholds if you want, and then just quit out. Um, if you do not want, if you want to get the trophy, but also uh, clear out the entire map to get a whole bunch of the re rewards and stuff like that then it might be a good idea to wait until the end to conquer all the strongholds like I did because if you try conquering the strongholds as you go um, you'll you'll need to spend quite a few turns reinforcing one of your territories enough to be able to um, play against the stronghold on rookie difficulty because you can't simulate the games against the strongholds you have to play the three inning games and you need a, a lot more you need a lot of fans to be able to play on rookie um, if you have if you reinforce a territory with 99 million fans which is the most you can then the enemy territory has to have 94 million or less in their stronghold to be able to play on rookie if they have 25 million you have to play on veteran so if you're comfortable playing on veteran you can go ahead and do that or if you want during the steel fans phase then you can play uh, a three inning game against that enemy stronghold to try and steal up to five million fans from the stronghold and then you can play on you can try and steal their stronghold on rookie difficulty so but like I said if you try and do the strongholds along the way that gives all the other enemy territories quite a few turns to take over some of your territories and to expand so if you want to take over the entire map my suggestion is to just try and take over all the territories as you can and then go and beat all the strongholds now what I generally tried to do was surround different enemy strongholds with my fans to of pretty much effectively remove them from the game so they can't really do much or expand now when you surround them since the enemy strongholds do have enemies in their stronghold they can attack your surrounding territories but usually they'll just get one or two million fans in each of those hexagons and they'll be able to expand just in those few territories immediately adjacent to the stronghold but they won't really be able to expand so that's fine but that's what I try and do now it doesn't always work as well as that because every time you play this it's gonna be different the first time I played this the Diamondbacks they expanded a lot of territory up north and the Blue Jays expanded like the whole eastern half of the United States um, neither of those were really the case this time so every once in a while I had to move back toward the cent center of my territories and then expand south a little bit to kind of um, quell the efforts of the Astros or the Rockies or Kansas City. And then after that I would go back and try and surround all the different territories. Um, and then also every once in a while like if your stronghold gets completely surrounded by enemy territories then you're gonna have to during your reinforce phase you will have to put all of your and your all of your fans in your stronghold 
and then attack the surrounding enemy territories. So all of your territories are contiguous with your stronghold. And then, yeah, so you just want to keep doing that. Skip the Steel Fans phase, attack enemy territories, and simulate the high probability games, and then reinforce your fans, and then just keep expanding. Another reason to why it's a good idea to j wait until the end, toward the end, to steal the enemy strongholds is because the more strongholds you take, then the more possible strongholds that you'll have to defend, and then it's easier for the other enemy territories to take over them. So this way, you just have to worry about one enemy strong or one of your strongholds to protect. So, um, as you can see here, all of my territories are not contiguous with my stronghold. It's completely surrounded by enemy territory. So I had to reinforce that stronghold with all of my fans and then need to attack the enemy territories. But it can, this way is the best way to do conquest mode. It's the easiest, it's the quickest. Um, and at, at first it can go a little slow because every few turns you'll only have a few million fans you can reinforce with but the more you go on the more enemy territories you claim like I said every three hexagonal territories that you own which you can see at any time in the bottom right hand corner where it says game details you can tell which turn it is how many territories you have and how many fans you have so the more territories you have, the more fans you can reinforce. And as you get further and further into expanding, you will slowly um, get more and more fans. So by the end, like once I've conquered almost all of the territories besides the strongholds, I had over 100 million fans to reinforce each turn which is a ridiculous amount especially since I didn't really have anywhere else to expand except for place all of the fans in territories to attack strongholds and yeah um, I think that's about it that I have so um, if you guys have any questions about my method or the best way to do it then you guys can comment below or you can tweet me at Pizilla Gaming on Twitter and I will do my best to answer your guys' questions so I hope this was helpful uh, feel free to like and subscribe and comment below what type of videos you guys would like to see from in the future alright Pizilla